starting this YouTube channel is one of the best decisions I've made in my life. And in this video, I will share my YouTube filmmaking process by showing you how I create a video from start to end and also some of my favorite tips so that you can create your own videos with more handy tools. Normally, I spend 5 days on a video. This includes planning, filming, editing, and promoting. In a nutshell, on Mondays, I plan and write the script. On Tuesdays, I film. From Wednesdays to Fridays, I edit. If you want to see how I do it, let's spend this week together and make a video from scratch. Good morning, today is Monday, and we are going to do some serious planning and write the script. This video I'm making this week is called What I Eat in a Week Low Carb and Tasty Breakfast Edition. One major question is how to choose your video topic to grow your channel fast. My tip is to ask yourself two questions before you start. Number one, what are your interests? And number two, what are the interests of your target audience? Topics that can answer both questions would be the best. Either one criteria standing alone would limit your video from reaching more people. For example, if you film things that only interest you but not others, it will be hard to get traction for your channel. Whereas if you follow hot trends that you are not genuinely interested in, it will be hard to grow your channel in the long run. You will lose your motivation to create and potentially get burned. So find a topic that answers both questions and then we are good to proceed to the planning phase. Before we get started, here is a filming agenda for this week. I like to break things down to smaller modules so that I can check things off along the process and stay on top of my schedule. Recently, I've been using this app called Identity to organize my schedules. I really like its to-do list feature, where I can attach related web pages to things I need to do and set a due date for each task. For example, now that I want to write my script and plan my shots, Attached here is a link to my planning page. By simply clicking it, the app will bring me directly to my Google Spreadsheet page, where I plan out each section of the video, create a shot list, and write down the props I need for each shot. I usually print this out and use it as a guide when I film. With this plan in place, instead of filming endless shots with no clear purpose, now I can focus on things that actually matter and keep developing my storyline in the right direction. Now that I have my plan ready, let's also get our props in place and do some grocery shopping together. Okay, it's now 3 p.m. on Monday, and I'm back with all these healthy groceries that I need for tomorrow's filming. The planning process usually takes me anywhere from a few hours to a whole day, depending on the types of videos I make. Today's planning is quite smooth and straightforward, so now I have the rest of the day to myself. I'm gonna go to the gym and resume my other task this evening. See you guys tomorrow for the filming. Good morning, it's Tuesday, which means we are ready to shoot. I've been trying to minimize my filming gears recently. So here are my 5 absolute essentials to cover all my filming needs. My main camera for this shoot is the Canon M6 Mark II, a great all-around camera for YouTube videos. I love this camera because it has a flip-up screen, a compact body, and the video quality it produces is quite impressive. I will use it to shoot my wide, medium, and also close-up shots. Normally, I use wide shots to capture the big picture, medium shots to introduce the subject and capture the actions, close-up shots to show greater details and further engage my audience. To pair with the main camera, my favorite tripod is this Manfrotto compact tripod and this magic arm. For trickier positions where the standard tripod cannot reach, this magic arm can easily clamp onto most edges and be adjusted to the exact angle where you need your camera to point at. 
Occasionally, when there's not enough natural light, I will use this lighting kit to put more lights on my subject. I will dim the lights if I want to create a warm and cozy ambiance. And adjust the brightness to a higher level if I want to create a fresh and clean look. For today's video, I'm also attaching an external microphone to capture all of these pleasant natural sounds, which adds another dimension to the video and makes it more engaging and stimulating. For the next few hours, I'm having a fine time filming all of the clips adding unexpected elements to the shot, finding unique angles to add some fun, and adding a coffee break because I absolutely need it. I ended up finishing the filming at around 8 p.m. that evening, and though it is longer than I expected, it's all worth it now that I have this card with my precious clips on it. Before calling it a day, I imported all of my clips into my editing app, making them ready for my editing tomorrow. Editing is my favorite part of making a video. I normally spend a half day doing the rough cut, which means I go through all of my footage for the first time and cut off any unwanted moments. Like this, this, and this. And then I align my footage with a pre-recorded voiceover to make sure that the storyline of the video is cohesive and has good pacing. After that, the real editing starts. This is where you can turn a simple clip into a super fine story. Here, I spice up my video by color grading the footage to make it visually pleasing, and by adding music to create a certain vibe. This is also where I add fun effects, animations, and sound effects to add an extra layer of personality to my video. At this point, I probably have gone through my video for about 7 to 8 rounds and it is ready for the final review. It normally takes anywhere from an hour to a few hours for Final Cut Pro to export my videos. So while my computer is hustling, I take a break. Okay, back to work. The final step is to upload the video, pick a search-friendly title, and most importantly, the thumbnail. In addition to the quality of your actual content, an interesting thumbnail that grabs people's attention is the key to your video's performance. I also promote my new video by posting it on my other social media platforms. And if you are not already following, feel free to check them out for more interesting content. And that's a summary of my video creation process. Thank you for spending this week with me, and I really hope you enjoy it. And I'll see you all here next week.